of secret line Like leaves we soar so high Beneath the moonlight Self-touch your hand in mine Gets me every There are so many sounds and noises going on right now. We have an air purifier, so that is set to auto. And right now it's sensing the essential oils. It's just something that it does anytime I light a candle, essential oils, or any scents, things like that, it will always go off. And then we have a dehumidifier. It's okay, I'm still enjoying my really quiet. My husband just came home. So my quiet morning is now coming to an end. I'm actually going to go do my red light therapy in my room and let the kids play. Those are kind of my mornings honestly. Kids wake up really early. I need to get into the habit of waking up before them if I want to have some quiet time to myself, which I haven't gotten back into. decided to go in the kids room and chit chat a little bit as I start my day I found that mirror at Aldi for $49.99 it's a seasonal find and it's metal it's not plastic it's actually a really decent find for Aldi I'm telling you like as soon as I saw it in the weekly ad I went straight to Aldi I was able to find it in store and this would be so beautiful in an entryway so I definitely plan to use this in my future home the one that we are in the process of building which I don't really have an update for you guys right now. My husband's working on all of that. We got the well drill. He's working on permitting for the house, finding out all of that information. That's very much so his scope of knowledge. And then there are a few more things to do before we can start digging the foundation, like digging out the foundation, putting in the footers, get the sticks up of the house, all of that. And I will definitely update as that happens, but there's just really not much to update right now. Anytime I see something that I really, really love, I will buy it and I keep it here for right now. I do need to take a shower today, so that's why I have not done my skincare yet. Otherwise, after I do my red light therapy, I usually do my skincare. You do want to use the red light mask on clean skin. Either wash my face with water or use that hydrating toner kind of as a face wash of sorts before I go in with the red light therapy and red light therapy is very well studied there are a lot of studies to back it up you can watch videos by professionals in the field like Dr. Dre or you can look up the studies yourself but there are studies to back up red light therapy when it comes to benefits for the skin but you also want to make sure that you're getting a really good quality one this is why it's very important to buy from a brand that is reputable and higher dose they did send me this mask this is not sponsored this is not paid as soon as I reached out, I've always wanted to try one, so I agreed for to a gifted collaboration. There were even no requirements for me to post at all. Like, I could have hated it and just not posted about it at all. But I love it. It's so easy to use. It has a 10-minute or 20-minute setting. But I was saying that Higher Dose has a reputation for wellness. They're in, they have been in the wellness industry for quite some time. They know what they're doing. That is their niche, if you will. And so it's very important to buy from brands that are kind of already in that niche and know what they're doing and not just trying to sell it to make some money which obviously they're selling it to make money but you know what I mean by that so yeah I would recommend if you have the budget for it because they are pricey but sometimes they have sales like Black Friday's coming up maybe put on your Christmas list and it takes time you're not gonna see results overnight but it is a really great thing to add in to your wellness routine if you're into that and in my personal opinion you will see better results from treatments versus just skincare and nowadays they have really great at-home options like the red light therapy mask obviously if you go to a med spa or something you're gonna get like a top-notch PRP, microneedling, RF, the Morphe, like all that stuff. Those are not available for at-home use, but certain things you can do at home, and I am very into that. So everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. I feel like if you can, then why not? You know, why not? It is a very chilly morning. Fall is very much here. Let me show you my beautiful view. These are the gorgeous North Carolina mountains. You can't really tell, but like the mountains are all on the horizon there and we do love it here but we are hoping to eventually move on to the land 
once the well septic more gravel is laid down because otherwise it's just like red dirt it's Carolina dirt but it has been nice to stay here we've fallen in love with Western North Carolina it is absolutely beautiful and a lot of people are definitely suffering right now I still think of them daily from Hurricane Helene especially now as the colder months hit I think of like all the people that have lost everything and the communities are coming together which is beautiful to see they're taking care of each other churches are coming together like the church we go to they directly worked with certain organizations in the entire county they were the main distributor for their entire county and it was just so amazing to see the people come together and donate and help out and volunteer and clean the mud and all of that it has really been like hearing the stories despite everything that they went through is so encouraging and kind of grounds you because a lot of times we can spend so much time online that a lot of times we kind of mesh physical reality with virtual reality and they're almost so intertwined that it's hard to separate the two but I think it's so important to live your life first in your physical reality with your community and all of that before the virtual reality that's just a personal opinion of mine physical reality always comes first your family your kids like that is probably the most important thing your community and then online because I feel like now nowadays people place so much emphasis on social media presence and how big of a following you get how big of an influencer you are and all of that is so virtual that can literally disappear like that I mean obviously the physical can as well but this has so much more meaning in my opinion like the the people around you it, it to me it just has so much more meaning although I am so grateful so grateful for virtual reality because it kind of gives me something to do being a stay-at-home mom I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past decade this is a very chatty vlog by the way guys I hope you're enjoying it so far hanging out with me but yeah I've been a stay-at-home mom for the past decade and I've had part-time jobs I've done accounting I've done worked at a school private school I've done accounting while I worked at the private school I never went fully into my career of accounting that I went to school for I have a bachelor's in accounting everybody just kind of decides what's best for their family so if for us personally you know my kids were home they were little so I stayed home with them I've basically been a stay-at-home mom so when YouTube kind of came around it's been around but it didn't really gain, gain traction until I want to say like 2014 like around then that's when you started seeing some vlogs pop up usually it was mainly beauty use videos it wasn't really vlogs the vlogs very slowly started popping up and then by the time I had my third kid this was 2018 then I feel like vlogs were really really popular around then and I used to love watching them I loved watching I just love reality shows in general I would much rather watch that than like a tutorial on something I don't know I just for me that's just so much more interesting everybody's different I always say if you're gonna be on social media create content that you enjoy that you would want to watch and I feel keep coming back to like vlogs I'm, I'm not a like wear my heart on my sleeve kind of person but this is truly the kind of content that I love watching the most versus lash tutorials I do I just did a video on these lashify fluffies the fluffy light and I do like this kind of videos but I almost feel like disconnected from them a little bit now I feel like I'm forcing it because that's what people want to see that's kind of what people subscribe to my channel for but that's not really why I started my channel. I covered so many topics here, you guys. But yeah, I'm so grateful to have YouTube and something like this where as a stay-at-home mom, it's nice to have that creative outlet, that something to do for yourself. I think it's important to have something to do for yourself, being a stay-at-home mom especially, that homeschools and you don't always leave the house. It's nice to have this, not to get caught up on it and place it as a priority, but it is nice to have this as something to do for yourself and I've really enjoyed it so I'm still here and I'm hoping with the house build I will be able to create more fun content that is more interesting we do live a little bit of an unconventional life honestly as a Slavic American who immigrated here when I was three from Belarus which I was just talking to my dad on the phone for like two hours yesterday he's so big on history my dad's gonna turn 80 this year we're gonna celebrate his 80th birthday in literally a month and he has so much knowledge to date like I will ask him about a country and he will like know who how they came to be who had what war, like what happened between them, what religion, why they separated, why they split, what they split into, the languages, the barriers, all, like just so much knowledge. It's, it's actually amazing. And this is considering when he was going to school in Belarus, his little hometown only had, I think he said like seven grades. So he had to go to a neighboring town or something to go to, I think they had 10 or 11 grades. So it wasn't like 12 grades like this. 
and he loved learning he loved reading books he used to like, get books from the library to read them because they couldn't afford buying books he came from they had a lot of kids not a lot of kids but like for slog families slog families are usually not like one two kid households plus during the soviet union you know times were tough very tough for a lot of people and so he would get books from the library biblioteca to date he still remembers like everything he read just it's to me that's amazing but I was saying as a family that did migrate from Belarus and even though I grew up in America I basically grew up Slavic because my parents my mom still doesn't really speak English very very little my dad does he like did everything he took us to a doctor's appointments he did all the insurances he communicates he figures stuff out he even went to college here when he was in his 50s for an electrician which is crazy so it's never too late guys it's never too late they had to start their lives all over here because of that i grew up in a very slavic culture the church we went to it was a slavic church it was all slavic people but all that to say i don't know any not a single person not a single slavic person that like lives full-time in an rv that's very much an american thing I literally don't know a single person. I mean, maybe there's someone out there, I just haven't met them. There are a lot of Slavics that own RVs, but they still have their main residential home. They still have their home, they use it to travel. It's not like they're full-time RVing. For us, we just took a very, very unconventional route. We sold everything. We did some traveling. Took Husband took a couple years off from work. And lived a very slow life. We still live a very slow life, I would say, and then decided to settle down and buy some land and build. Right now we are living in an RV and we have been for the past two years, over two years now at this point. And I'm a firm believer that you shape your reality in the sense of how you perceive things is how you're going to see what is around you. So if you're going to be like really negative, and I had to learn this for myself because there were a lot of times where I was like, okay, I, why did we do this? Like, I can't wait till we have a house. Like, I'm just being very honest. And I will say part of it was because of seeing stuff online on social media and seeing how everybody lives, how I perceived people's lives online kind of fogged my own perception of what I have and took away from that. And so I had to step back and like really think about what it is that I have, what it is that we're working towards and changing your perception of how you see things you will see a big difference in how you go about life like find beauty in the little things it sounds so cliche but really perception really is everything you don't need fancy things you don't need extravagant things to live a life that you love like we are creating a life that we love and i love the life that we have created we have a beautiful family three beautiful kids there are hard times there are you know there's everybody has their struggles and things that they go through nobody lives a perfect life and watching people online it's so easy to think that people live a perfect life just because they show certain aspects of their life like whether they're traveling or they're doing all these things or creating amazing content it's so easy to perceive that as them having the perfect life but as we have learned time and time again we see people with literally everything be so unhappy like celebrities or people that are super wealthy and it's like how can you be so unhappy with everything that you have it's because perception guys perception and there are certain things that we know will not fill our deepest desires and our hearts and all of that so i don't know i just wanted to sit down and chat and catch up because honestly it's been a minute since i vlogged and this is kind of my morning routine currently i'm gonna go take a shower and wash this hair still loving these extensions by the way they are holding up really really well so happy weekend to you guys whenever you're watching this thanks for hanging out with me and i hope you stick around for more videos